Okay, welcome to another episode of SHR Sounds Bites. I am here with Carolina, right? I did good there. Hi, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Event manager with Hotel Arlema. I didn't yeah, say no, that. Yeah, right. no, it's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. How do you pronounce it? Hotel, Hotel Armamo. Armamo. In Poland. Uh, so, um, you have a master's degree in economics or management. What did you say? Management. Management. And you worked for Deloitte at, at one point? Yeah, I had an episode with Deloitte. So <laughs> tell us real quick how you made the jump from looking at spreadsheets to the hotel biz. <laughs> Oh, I've always wanted to work uh, in hospitality and Deloitte was like kind of a stop uh, between what I was, what I was doing and, uh, but I knew at the time when I was working at Deloitte that I want to work uh, for a resort hotel. So then I uh, had a few episodes with working in the United States. Uh, in resort uh, hotels as well. And the last time I was in the US, it was 2018. When I uh, got back, I just, um, I just started working for the same hotel I'm working for now. So you are working. Is the hotel yeah. open? Yes, it is open. Has it been open or have you had to um, close it down for a bit? It was shut down for a while because that was the restriction our um, government required uh, us to do so. So then on uh, 4th of May, we could reopen uh, all hotels in Poland, but like, it didn't pay off for all of the um, hotels and resorts to open be because we were not allowed to have like a pool, a spa open. So it didn't pay off. Mm -hmm. So um this is a mm, leisure hotel so right now we have a lot of guests because now we have summertime the school has ended so everybody's traveling so we are seeing a little bit of a rush mm -hmm. uh but the city and business hotels are definitely not doing that great yeah so are people traveling from nearby countries or is it are there restrictions there still well now we are open for uh, for uh, for uh, foreigners, so we can have people from abroad, but we mostly have uh, and had people from Poland actually. Okay, so it's a, a lot of what everyone is seeing around the world is if you can drive there, that that's yeah. kind of the guess, yeah. Yeah, and then we have a great uh, place where the hotel is because it's like kind of in the middle of nowhere, and so the closest. Uh, city is like 30 minutes drive mm -hmm. so it's like um, you can really rewind and chill and like even though the hotel is really big because it has 253 rooms you can't feel the rush you can't feel the people around you so it's a great place to come and visit if you want to just chill or you want to do some sports or whatever else it's a great place of, and yes the sewer space Yes, a lot of outdoor space, an outdoor pool, and like you can uh, uh, go to the gym or do anything else like biking, jogging, and things. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you, I mean, do you have any kind of uh, expectation like over the next few months? Do you think it'll just continue? Um, like we're having, we, I, I, I kind of feel like the U.S., a lot of states opened up a little too soon uh, and we're starting to feel the pain a little bit, but uh, do you have any kind of inclination of what to, what Poland might expect, for example, over the next couple of months? Well, for sure, everybody's afraid of what's coming because the World Health Organization is also saying that we're going to have a comeback of COVID-19 in um, fall season. So mm -hmm. we are pretty afraid of that and it's like really hard to say. But uh, I believe that it's going to be harder for the hotels for uh, gaining new business, for sure, for the business hotels. And the uh, company is going to be a little bit afraid of spending too much money on something which is not a priority. And I believe that 
uh, events and my uh, meetings is something that is not for sure a priority right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's not only about money, it's also about PR. So they can't just say like, well, let's gather and just have a conference or a meeting or an event. It, they need to think of their clients, their, like uh, um, clients, families as well. So it's mm-hmm. all like um, really, really important right now. And I believe that Leisure Hotel is going to be doing quite okay. And the business may be growing in 2021. Mm-hmm. So are, are you, you're managing events primarily? Yes, yes. In your role, I mean, are so are you booking any events or? Uh, we can see we can see some moves right now, but it's not like it used to be for sure. Yeah. So, uh, well, it as I was saying, we can see some movements uh, just shortly after we uh, got back to business. We had some phone like inquiries about weddings and uh, events right. like this. Right. But um, companies are um, right now um, quite not sure what to do as well, I think. Right, right. Because they yeah, yeah. just don't, don't want to guarantee us that they're going to come and then they're going to change their mind. So. Right. Yeah, we have a little pent-up demand on the weddings in the U.S. too. <laughs> no, <laughs> people, yeah. <laughs> people, are, people are dying to get married. Uh, <laughs> Hey, which is good. So um, I tell you, do you have any kind of, you know, any tips or tactics that you would give any of the hoteliers in Europe or around the world for that matter? Yeah, for sure. I would say that hoteliers need to concentrate more on guest experience and customer experience because they need to think of things that are going to be making them uh, ahead uh, like one step ahead um, compared to uh, their competition, like the the other hotels for sure. Uh, they need to concentrate more on uh, guest journey as well. They need to think more on the details. Forbes Travel Guide, like the uh, professionals from Forbes Travel Guide always say that 75% of um, everything that people pay for is actually service and people so it's a lot only 25 percent is actually your facility so i would say that people need to concentrate more on uh what guests are actually paying for how they feel what memories do they have how to build the loyalty with people because that's important you're not spending money just to uh, sleep on comfortable beds right right so that's what i would say definitely Okay, that's some good advice from Carolina. Thank you for joining me. (laughs) Thank you so much. All right.